This is a battle in round three of the blue tournament and we are now doing best of three. So <laughs> this is Blademaster of the Wolf Clan commanding Krim and Ulda of the Wolf Clan commanding commanding Termesiane. No idea how to pronounce that. Uh, but the factions are anyway... Okay, so Arvachi, that's uh, Termesiane, and Krim is Chimeria. So that is quite interesting, seeing as how Chimeria is positioned on the Crimean Peninsula, or Krim, as we call it in Norway. Um, but here we are. The map is Alexandria. For Arvachi, we have... Let's see here. For Arvachi, we have a main line of Skutari noble fighters. Then we have uh, Scutari Spears in the rear, uh, Celtic Bearing Cavalry, and I don't see any skirmishers, so maybe there aren't any skirmishers on the field. The general is a noble cavalry uh, commander general, actually. And in the front line we have Iberian Spears. Chimeria on this map is a very questionable choice because of the forest. Step horse archers moving up, noble horse archers moving up, doing some damage early on the noble cavalry, but he is going to be protected by the forest here. And skirmishing on this map is not going to be an easy task at all, because there's basically forest all over. And forests make skirmishing so uh, ineffective. You're wasting arrows with every single shot. Here we have step horse archers moving around, and on a hot map, these guys have a resistance to cold, but on a hot map, they're going to fatigue very uh, quickly. So they are already, they have already reached the active stage. Can't really see the rest of the, uh, of the uh, Chimerian army. They are presumably in the forest here, although it could have been nice to sneak them all the way around here to get some more time to skirmishing, but I don't really know where uh, Chimeria has has um, put its units. The Celtiberians are taking damage, but they're not going to take a whole lot of damage in the forest here. Aggressive push-up by uh, Aravachi. Aravachi is of course going to want to use its melee superiority against Chimeria to push up and take care of the Hoplites, take care of the foot skirmishers. Doing some nice screening here with Iberian Spears. Iberian Spears are not really going to... It's, it's not worth it using uh, arrows on Iberian Spears. And so the Step Horse Archers are not even firing on them. Which is a good idea. These guys are not as good as Levy Freeman. Because they're... Although they have very good melee defense. Their armor just sucks horribly. Uh, they're not really able to stand up to cavalry charges. Or, uh, or even skirmishing. Because of their crappy shields. Here we have one, let's see, no, some noble horse archers as well. And noble horse archers are uh, good in melee. They have a 49 melee attack and they are heavy missile cavalry. So the impact damage from those guys is going to really hurt a unit like Iberian Spears. So can't really see the Chimerian army just yet. Uh, which is probably because Chimeria has been smart and uh, moved away. Here we have some... Noble horse archers charging into the Iberian Spears, but they did eat a volley and not a good exchange from, for them at all. The Scutari Spears did so much damage, and these Noble horse archers are super expensive. They are already winded. And they killed 38 Iberian Spears, but they lost so many men there. 15, uh, 15 men dead from the Iberian Spears and 6 from the Scutari Spears. That is not good for uh, Chimeria. Chimeria, due to their lack of cavalry, they really, really need these uh, Noble Horse Archers in the late game. Just continuing to kite the Step Horse Archers, maybe trying to tire out these units a bit. And here we have some firing coming from the Step Horse Archers, but again, in the forest, not really going to be effective. Arvachi being very smart in just staying in the forest to reduce the impact of the skirmishers of, uh, of, um, ooh, Chimeria. But this is not good. Here the noble horse archers are getting hit by Skutari spears in the front. And, yeah, th this is not good for Chimeria, losing the very important noble horse archers and not really getting anything in return for it. Killing 11 Skutari spears and losing... Uh, 12 noble horse archers. That's a horrible trade. Here we have some citizen cavalry moving around. 
Uh, nice surround here by Chimeria, but in the forest, Aravachi isn't really going to care about about the missiles. So, being very smart in using using the Scutari spears to screen away the the melee units. And these noble horse archers need to be super careful because they are going to, although they have uh, they only have 40 armor. And so that is going to, to mean that each javelin volley is going to kill so many of them. But here we can see the Chimerian army posting up here. Uh, and obviously Chimeria wants to take this engagement in the open to do as much damage with skirmishers as possible. The question is how Chimeria is going to be able to make Aravachi move out of the forest. Because Aravachi has, can move straight up, the for uh, straight up through, um, through the forest here. And there are forests on both sides, so this is basically the only place where an engagement is advantageous for Chimeria. But there are just so many meat shield units for Aravachi that I seriously doubt that Chimeria is going to be able to do any kind of meaningful damage. On an open map, sure, Chimeria can do well against Aravachi, but on Alexandria, uh, just Alexandria is such a good map for infantry, such a good map for uh, barbarian rushes that skirmish builds like like uh, chimeria can basically only bring skirmish builds because they lack good infantry and they lack good um, they lack good cavalry units they only have citizen cavalry and step lancers citizen cavalry is going to die to Celtic bearing cavalry and uh, on a map like this the the step lancers are not going to do well at all Skutari Spears using their shield wall, which is going to increase their armor. So it, it's actually going to help them reduce more base damage from these Noble Horse Archers. But Chimeria just does not have an angle of approach here. Uh, as long as Aravachi decides to stay in the forest, Chimeria isn't going to be able to do anything to these units. Using Heavy Shot here to do as much damage to the... Uh, the Scutari Spears as possible, but um, the Scutari Spears are actually getting the better of these engagements in terms of of just throwing their javelins and doing a lot of damage. Uh, even the Iberian Spears are getting very, very nice kills here against the cavalry units. So Chimeria is losing the one uh, the one uh, area th that they have an advantage in skirmishing. They're actually losing due to mismicroing the Noble Horse Archers. And the step horse archers. Sort of a stalemate here where Chimeria wants to do as much damage as possible with the skirmishing, but in the forest, I mean, it's just not going to happen for Chimeria. Uh, Chimeria basically lost this uh, this uh, battle in terms of, of uh, the terrain the battle is going to be fought on. And even so, Arvachi is. A good matchup against against Chimeria because Chimeria has hoplites and skirmishers and uh, crap cavalry. So if you can just sort of screen away the threat from the the horse skirmishers, and you can see they're already tired. If you can screen away the threat from the Chimeria heavy archers and the horse skirmishers, then there's basically nothing that Chimeria can do against. Um, against the Scutari and the Noble Fighters. I mean, sure, these on the charge, these uh, Chimeria Noble Infantry, they're going to do reasonably well against Scutari, but it's still not going to be a cost-effective engagement for them, because, um, well, look at their stats. I mean, Scutari, 42 melee attack, 35 weapon damage. Uh, Chimeria Nobles, 41 and 30 weapon damage, although they have nice amount of armor uh, piercing damage. They're just not going to be able to stand up to barbarian sword rushes. They're not good against barbarian mid-tiers, but Scutari, they are terrible barbarian mid-tiers because they don't have shield wall uh, and they don't... Uh, they only have 60 armor, they don't have shield wall, only 55 health, 50 morale, uh, and they don't have a good charge. These are units that you want to rush in after a, a unit is already engaged because of their very low charge bonus. Bit better than Roman infantry, but still not great. The Sc Scutari Spears are taking casualties, but these step horse archers are not ju not really being effective here. Using a Tabrian circle to try to... <laughs> I don't know why that was, but... Very tired already. 
Chimeria wants wants Arawachi to engage and be able to kite away through this open patch here, but if uh, Arawachi is being smart, then that just won't happen. Step Spearmen in the front here. The Step Spearmen are decent enough units, but they don't. They lack. Uh, although they have a very nice bonus against Lords, they lack javelins, and that just makes th uh, their use a lot more marginal than the use of these uh, Iberian spears. And the the Chimeria heavy archers are doing a ton of damage to the Iberian spears now, and they could just route them off the field. But these Iberian Spears are not really a threat here. We have the Celtiberian Cavalry uh, being wrecked by Skirmish Fire and by Step Spears. Very nicely done there. Going into Square, it's also going to stop a lot of the charges from these units. And so the Celtiberian Cavalry just getting wrecked by by the Chimerian Heavy Archers. They have a 30 bonus against large in melee. But the Chimerian Heavy Archers really need to start kiting back now behind their own lines. Because here comes the rush from Aravachi. Nice charge by the Citizen Cavalry into the Celtiberian Cavalry, but Citizen Cavalry is going to lose, it's just a matter of time. Uh, Sidian Hoplites charging in to take care of the Celtiberian Cavalry, but the support from uh, Swords here is just going to be so devastating against the Sidian Hoplites. These units are getting pulled into melee. Uh, a lot of damage can come against the Scutari here, they're going to drop quickly due to these uh, Chimerian Heavy Archers. The Step Spearmen are holding out in their square, but they only got a kill. Celtiberian Cavalry doing a nice job here against... You can see how quickly the Sitzen Cavalry is going to go down here. Uh, the Sidian Hoppetes, they are losing, of course, to both Celtiberian Cavalry and Scutari. Uh, nice charge here. The Chimera Heavy Archers got hit by some Javelins. And the Chimera Noble Infantry did not get the charge on the... Oh, well, they did get a... Decent charge again. Well, not a decent charge. They were sort of blocked. The Scutari are going down quickly to the Chimerian Nobles. And when the Chimerian Nobles activate the Hoplite Phalanx, they are, of course, going to get the bonus against infantry. So Scutari is going to lose. Uh, but all across the line here, sword units incoming. Hoplites are going to disintegrate under noble fighters. And these these uh, Chimerian heavy archers, they sort of they struggle to find a good angle of approach. The Noble Cavalry General of of um, Arvachi is still in, still alive and well, and he's he's going to be able to charge these Chimerian heavy archers at will. He has support from some Iberian spears. He's getting fired upon now, but there are so many Arvachi units pouring in, and the Noble Cavalry is taking damage from these units. The Citizen Cavalry is going to help him. Uh, let's see how well he does on the charge against the dangerous spears of the uh, Chimeria Heavy Archers. He's getting a lot of kills here, but the Chimerian Heavy Archers are in the forest. So, um, the Noble Cavalry is going to drop here. Iberian Spears, not great units. I don't know how they do against Chimerian Heavy Archers in melee, but I don't think they are going to do super well. So, the General of Ar Arvachi is not doing too well in this engagement, but it has bought the rest of his units time to get in. Now we have Scutari, uh, Scutari rushing in to deal with the Citizen Cavalry and to the Chimera Heavy Archers. So the one unit that would have been able to tip the balance uh, in favor of Chimera is being uh, killed here very quickly by the Scutari. Um, the Chimera Noble Infantry, they got a lot of kills in the center, but they're just getting attacked in the rear now by Scutari. Uh, we have Noble Fighters rushing in. Amazingly enough, this, these Step Spearmen still holding out in their square against Scutari. Noble Horse Archers charging into the Scutari Spears. If the Scutari Spears have cavalry counter tactics, then they're going to make super short work of the Noble Horse Archers. And there's there's just nothing that Chimeria can do at this point. It was not a good map for uh, Chimeria, a good map for Arvachi. And uh, Chimeria just doesn't have a response to even decent mid-tier cavalry and uh, mid-tier swords on a map like this. just It just won't happen for Chimeria. So, Ulda got a victory over Blademaster. Um, I mean, the Chimeria nobles do okay, but just they are outperformed by even Scutari. Uh, I quite like this army against uh, Krim, but Krim is, is just not a good faction on a forested map and against barbarian factions. So, this is a best of three. Blade Master still has the chance to bring this series back. Strength and honor.